or a situation where I was at job course. This is a real special time, like very vital time in my life too. Um, I was at job course and I got in trouble for wearing my toboggan. My toboggan and not their toboggan. This is a toboggan in Tennessee. They call these toboggans. I like my bird. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Anyway, I ain't gonna get into my bird. But, um, so I was thinking about that was the second time that I got in trouble. And it was traumatizing because of some fact that I didn't like getting in trouble. Because I've always got in trouble in any school I went to for just making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was reminiscing just now and. Um, these people, the first day I got there, I got in trouble, or the second day I got there, I got in trouble with the leader of the coat or whatever. <laughs> he was like drill sergeant type shit. I was, you know, I said, I did some shit, like I was taken up for somebody, and he didn't like it. And I'm like, bro, I'm not against you, I'm just taking up for them. Like, they didn't, they didn't. Do nothing too serious. I always been a peacemaker. I feel me. I can't help it. So he's gonna put me out. Then I'm like, you know, I just was sitting here realizing that the dudes that got put out before I had got put out that day. They probably was under the same vibration, like, you know, like, think of how, like, okay, you always get in trouble in any school you go to. Job corps is a second, is another opportunity. I went to alternative schools. I went to, like, I've been in all the bad situations when it comes to school. I've been to, been to one alternative school, but I've been kicked out of schools. I've been that kid that was suspended every time they came back to school. That was in high school, though. But it's like, once you try again, you even move out of state and try to do the shit. Because I was trying to compare my situation with their situation. Come to goddamn think about it, I'll tell y'all some cool, the, the realest shit in my life. I feel like them two niggas right there could have been little guy and little kid. Like, I swear to motherfucking God, bruh. Like, they was, they looked like Lil Gotti and Lil Key. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even thought about that shit, but them niggas got kicked out, dog. And I. <laughs> what if that's why I'm attached or uh, I'm connected to Lil Gotti and Lil Key? That'll be some crazy shit, because I've been watching them. And I don't know why, like, you see, my fuck with they vibe, but it's like, bro. I swear to God. And I'm finna go ask my, uh, my OTs from Job Coach because I swear on, I swear on life. That was them niggas. That was them, dog. Damn, spirit hard than a motherfucker. Well, that's the whole reason I was supposed to be connecting. Because I just thought about my OTs, people from Job Corp. They call them OTs when, like, people that arrive the same day you arrive or the people that, like, you know, people that came on the same, like, intake that you would, like, orientation type shit. So it's like, them yo, them yo, that's your pack. So, man, that shit, like... I have been thinking about them recently. It's blowing my mind. I can't even remember my thoughts. But I've been thinking about them recently, bro. And I've been watching Lucky and Look Got It more recently. Or like, you know, just, you know, clicking on that shit when I see it. You feel me? Be like, oh, this shit hard. And it's just crazy. It's 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 kinda crazy. It's kinda cause them getting kicked out. Y'all don't know, understand how epic this 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 part of my life was because it's like I was in control of everything. Like it's like 
all myself, you know, like my own life. So like, all right, so they got kicked out for not doing something, but it was like the man didn't take one taking no shit, like, but they didn't do nothing that wrong. It was kind of like they was just an example because shit. You feel me? It was like he told him to take off his headphones or some shit. It was got it, though. <laughs> That's crazy. He told him to take off his headphones, you feel me? And nigga took off his headphones, and he didn't want to do the shit. And I'm like, I'm like, he don't have to do the shit. You feel me? He literally don't because he said the shit's not on. The man got mad. So he kicked their ass out. He, he, he you feel me? Cause some other shit had went. Well, no. I feel like the way he was talking to everybody was what made them be like, man, I'm not finna goddamn explain myself to you. This shit, it's, it's not. I can hear you. You feel me? So he got mad at their attitude. But I felt like they didn't do nothing wrong with me. I felt like on some. I didn't even respond to the nigga. He wanted me to take off my toboggan. You get what I'm saying? My hat. And it's somewhere around this bitch. Because I keep up with my shit. But he wanted me to take off my hat. And I'm like... Shit, nigga. I... I... I, I ain't got nothing to do with your anger right now. Like... Because I'm like... Why do I have to take off my hat? And he got mad. And I'm like... I just asked the question. I just... I literally... I don't want no beef, bro. I just, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You feel what I'm saying? So, nigga, that I was finna get kicked out. He put my ass out. He ain't even talk to me. He was like, oh, you want to go too? Pack your bags. You finna go back to the... I'm like, nigga, like, don't make me no example. I ain't the one. You feel me? So, legit shit, bro. I went, I went, <laughs> I, okay, I walked the fuck out. You feel me? But, nigga, I went to go cry because I'm like, nigga, it took a lot for me to want to leave my city and come to this shit knowing that I ain't give a shit about no trade, knowing that I'm just getting out the house to get out the house, nigga. I could be doing better shit in Mobile, you feel me? Like, But it's like I'm coming up here to network, seeing who I could add to the roster. Like, I was on some making music type shit. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. That's what I was on, like. Making more connections, because I couldn't travel. I ain't had the money to travel, you feel me? They go, one of my OTs hit me up right now. But it's like, so, you know what I'm saying? And then it was just like perfect time, and everything was perfect time. I was reading his messages. It was sidetracked me a little bit. But everything was perfect time, man. And I met the best people in my life. You know, there. It's the craziest thing. It's kind of like the most uh, vital, like, consistent thing that I, like, I went there, met a friend. I never lost contact. And, and the contact that I did make there, I can literally never lose them, lose them. But at the time, the dudes that was in my crew, they was younger than me. So, like, what happened... It happened, but now I think some of them seeing the truth of the matter. Like, you know, I was just elevating as a woman, like, and it was like, it wasn't no room for, like, um, criticism. That's all I was trying to show them, like, at the time. Like, it's like, bro, I'm not happy about where I'm at right now either, but you can't blame me for who I am. Like, that job court shit really put a dent in my heart that I had to leave. So it's not my fault that I came here and back back then it's called backslid. I backslid, had sex. You know, they judged me for getting pregnant. Oh, you supposed to be this old Christian. Nigga, I backslid. Nigga, I ain't went back. Nigga, I don't even believe in that shit no more. That shit was the best thing that happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, going to job clubs, having the experience I had, seeing that these guys wasn't where I was, but they was just as pure as I was. And my friends 
was just as pure as I was, you get what I'm saying? And it was like, well, the friends I had at home, they was just as pure as I was. So, you know what I'm saying? It just, it, it, I don't know. It just now, seeing it come back, like, full circle, like, you know, one of my OTs sent me a friend request, and that was crazy because recently I've been thinking about them like crazy. So it's like, damn. So, yeah, our connection, it didn't really ever die. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was it's like set in stone. And when I network, that's what I do. Oh, and another one, my OT King. He he got he 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 a producer. I've been t- keeping in contact with King and Ray this whole time. Like King and Ray, like and like it's like it's real love. Like it's like real respect, real love, real like acknowledgement, back and forth, big you know what I'm saying? So Matter of fact, I got to goddamn make sure I uh hit my nigga up right now. Because it's like, he gave me some beats. And right after he gave me the beats, I had to pawn my laptop. But now I got my, I got a MacBook desktop. But I haven't done, I haven't done anything on it. But, you know, I'm still, uh, I'm, I'm in the, kind of like in the process. I'm working, like I'm studying right now. Make sure when I do start making beats and shit that I'm on super point. But I just wanted to talk about this shit. Bro, let me find out that was them niggas, dog. That's some cra that's the craziest shit I done thought of, dog. <laughs> bro, I be making I be meeting superstars, bro. Like, that's crazy. That mean that God be really putting me in the God be leading me in the right direction. As long as I keep making my connections, that's a good sign, dog. Like, you feel what I'm saying? That's a good-ass sign. Because, all right, I'm looking at the guy that them. This is how I look at them, right? I look at them like they fly as fuck. But it's like, it's like, I ain't going to say we so much alike. I'm like, you could tell that we have the same influences. So people like that. I really don't watch them. I don't, like, become fans of them like that unless, like, I'm learning some shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so I keep watching to see, like, you know, what I can learn. And I am learning because it's like, them niggas, they doing their little shit. It's going to be something they teach us. They brothers. And they both blowing up at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's some deep shit. That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they brothers, they both blowing up at the same time. And then you can look at them and tell that they being they self. Like, like it don't matter what nobody's saying. You know what I'm saying? They being they self. You tell they influenced by Young Thug, all that good shit. But they real niggas. And what if that wasn't them at the school? But at the same time, I think it was. The, um... Legata is the one that uh, got in trouble or whatever. And he was, uh, I know for a fact, <laughs> he was the nigga. I finna tell, uh, I finna tell my nigga Bama. That's the one that hit me up uh, from job calls. I'm finna tell him. Because I don't forget faces, bro. And I know one of my gifts are is uh, photographing memory. So, in all type of ways, my photographic memory is on fleet. Like, that's why Gemini's eyes do this a lot. Because it's like, you know, it's like we taking pictures. Like, we we taking moments. Like, you say something, look over here. That's going to that's gonna create the moment. Like, because it's like talking with your eyes. Like, if you talk about something with somebody, you're going to pretty much remember it. You know what I'm saying? I learned that a long time ago, too. Like, even, like, when I do this, I'm talking. This shit is going to always, I'm going to always remember this, that I did a video like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to always remember that I talked about this shit. So, so just, like, my eyes, like, it's like, it's like I'm taking pictures. I remember, oh, that vibration of what we talking about made me feel like this. So, you know, I look up here, it makes me feel light. So I look to the light. Or that vibration of shit made me feel like, you know, this or, you know, that or that effect. You know, it's just different effects. So, just 
just like what make us get up and move. If I'm doing some shit and uh, it make me happy, I might stand up, you know what I'm saying? Or if it make me aggravated, I might do something repetitive like go get a cigarette or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, <laughs> just different things and ways trying to explain shit, but I remember them niggas. I cannot place how the key face look at all, but I remember that nigga guy because he was wearing blue, a lot of blue. And you know what I'm saying? Where we from, that's significant. You feel what I'm saying? We, us, uh, you know, I ain't gonna say us black people, but where we from, that shit's significant. So, we gotta take that shit into consideration. You think, you know what's crazy? How the world has given, well, USA has given us their colors, their main colors. And... It's just wild because it's the it's the vibration they put on us. Like we already black because they say we black and white because they say we white. Then the flag, red, white, and blue, and then you come along and represent a white. Or well, you come along and represent a red, a black, and then like in Mobile, they represent a lot of people represent their own colors, which is like black and white. But it's like. They make you support what they support when it's literally like we could be at this whole future game. Like my rag. My rag. It ain't really like no no gang shit. It's like really like on some some unified shit, like any type of business conglomerate shit. But you know, so I'm finna get up over here. I don't know what my rag. I ain't finna look for it. Uh stay abundant. We like stay lit. I am Cole O'Con. I am that I am who we are. Feel what I'm saying? And um, everything is right. You feel me? Everything is light. Everything is in sight. Like I said, stay abundant. Be like stay lit. O'Con. Maggie and the Beast. That's a new uh. That's a new vibration. Maggie and the Beast. Okay. So y'all, y'all stay abundant. All right. All right.